Bended makes me feel good. And I think we're going to get a little more bending from Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix. It seems that Netflix has renewed Avatar The Last Airbender for, well, not only renewed it, but also canceled it at the same exact time. It's given it two more seasons, so you're going to get, a, I guess, the full arc of what you expect, the same as the Nickelodeon run. You're going to get three seasons of uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, and as we reviewed previously, I enjoyed it, and I think a lot of people have not binged it because they were waiting to hear whether or not it was going to be a waste of time because they didn't want to commit to something that they weren't going to get a full arc on because Netflix is notorious for taking away shows that people really enjoy and people invest in and then they pull the rug out from under them. Obliterated is one that I quite enjoyed that they only gave one season two from the makers of Karate Kid. They have ended that series, so I'm a little disappointed. But this one, at least we're going to get a full arc. I think that's pretty cool. And I do like the show. I am the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews from... Huh, Our Reviews will kill you, not from kill you. And I am here to discuss a little bit about The Last Airbender, give you a little bit of news. I think it's good news. In the meantime, like and subscribe. We do appreciate it. Always got to remind people because I watch a lot of videos and I tend to forget to like and subscribe. So we really could use your help. It goes a long way. Let's get into the articles. Let's take a look. The first thing I wanted to look at was, and I'm pretty sure this is IMDb. Uh, it's based on, it's got 4.1 out of 5, which I think is pretty darn good out of 10,000 ratings. And this first person that their first review here says, uh, so I finally finished binge watching Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender, and I really, really love it. As a fan of the OG cartoon series, I was just so in awe of how they managed to bring everything to life, from the epic world building to the impeccable cast. Sounds fair to me. I mean, I'm not going to say. I, they gave it, <laughs> it's like six stars out of five, but... Uh, I really enjoyed it. As someone who never saw the Nickelodeon show, it just wasn't my speed. I guess it seemed like a kid's show that I wasn't really into. I was more into Avatar Blue Rabbits doing it than Avatar Bending Air. Not my bending. Uh, I'm, I'm bending two tails together to get freaky deaky. Not necessarily bending air, water, fire, or earth. Uh, but when I took, uh, took, I was like, hey, we got to review something. Let's take a look at it. I think it'll be interesting. And you know what? The first season I thought was pretty good. I thought it even ended in an interesting place. I'm curious as to where they'll go, but I like, you know, it's a little campy. Seems a little for kids. They cut some parts that I thought were pretty cool, clearly for budgetary reasons. And when I watched it, I was like, wow, they spent way more money on this than I probably thought they would. But as far as an anime adaptation, it was pretty good. You know, it, it doesn't quite have the charm of One Piece and maybe not as much of the emotional like gravity as One Piece, but it definitely is no Cowboy Bebop, which was just farce. So I they and I think they held pretty true to it. And I think the casting is better, as my partner Noob Noob says he watched the M. Night Shyamalan airbender version and he was like, the casting was garbage. At least this one was a lot of fun and the people were pretty good. And I felt like they delivered in the best they could. Now, I, I thought the kid was a little annoying, but you know what? He's a little kid and he's got a bald head. What are you going to do? Avatar The Last Airbender renewed for seasons two and three at Netflix from Variety. I suspect they already may have recorded, may have already filmed some of this, but what are you going to do? Obviously, Avatar is set in a world divided into four nations, Water Tribe, Earth Kingdom, Fire Nation, and Air Nomads that once lived in harmony, but now the Fire Nation is taking control and wants to take over the whole world with our airbender, Ang, and, or Ang, or whatever the hell his name is, and his young friends who are going to, Take back the world. It's Team Airbender. <laughs> Albert King is the is the uh, showrunner. 
and uh, looks like they're going to bring it back. They don't have any comments yet, but everything is coming back, and they they probably already have all the characters under contract. And I think it'll be good for the show because I don't know how the Nickelodeon show goes, but I think they're gonna they're gonna be able to film it in such succession that everybody won't age out of their roles too quick because you've got some younger actors in this who could age up pretty quickly, and then you're not going to enjoy it as much because they're going to be like, eh, whatever. But I think overall this is a good decision, and I think it'll be a satisfying conclusion, which we don't normally get on Netflix. So give them credit for that, where they're just like, hey, look, you're going to get three su- seasons, enjoy it, and it'll go in the archive. And, you know, I just I don't know what people found offensive about it or what was a problem for them again not i don't know the source material enough but i think you have to when you have something this fantastical i mean this is pretty big fantasy stuff you're gonna have to give them leeway to figure out exactly how things are gonna turn out how you're gonna be able to pace it i thought the pacing was decent i thought the acting while not amazing was still fun so i thought it was an enjoyable show and uh, I like the acting for the most part. So let me th- know what you guys think. Are you excited? You can commit to this show without being afraid of it being canceled. You can be a fan and not be ashamed anymore because I feel like that's a big thing. You're afraid to say you like something. You're afraid to commit to it because you know it might just get canceled on these streamers. And Netflix is Finally putting its money where its mouth is on this particular show. I think it got 41 million hours of viewing or 41 million households. I don't know. Some really big number. I I don't have the article on that one, but it did well enough for them to want to continue it. Especially when I think the age range for this is while it's not exact, it's not like super old. It's, it's, it's like somewhere in between. I feel like maybe eight year olds and up could watch this. Like it's not really super controversial there's a couple scary moments a couple moments of peril but there's no bad language and there's there's nothing real there's no themes that are too crazy there's a little bit of like romance stuff but nothing that you can't say no to your family to so i'm looking forward to it are you looking forward to it let me know in the comments below i'll take a look i respond to all of them and i think we can have a nice dialogue about this one because Some people decided to criticize me because I didn't watch the originals. Well, guess what? Noob Noob did, and he thinks this one's better than the M. Night Shyamalan one. And, I don't know, the Nickelodeon one's from like 20 years ago, folks, so relax. Anyway, we have a podcast you can come stream with us. We live stream it Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join us. Join the fun. It's a good time. And uh, for the time being, you can still catch us on iTunes, which is cool. You could join the channel. And for as little as $1 a day, you can keep a starving noob noob alive. He's my co-host, and we only let him out of his cage once a week so that he can participate. But it's got to live on you know $12 a year worth of food. So you can help keep him alive. That's a good thing, I think. Anyway, thanks so much for listening. Like and subscribe. Appreciate it. But I'm on to the next one.